Hi friends, our today's topic is simple interest and in this video we are going to solve few of the important questions of simple interest which generally comes in our exams. So now the question is, a sum of money at simple interest amounts to 650 in 3 years and 750 in 5 years. So they are asking you to calculate principal and rate of interest, right? So what they are telling is, suppose you invested some amount that is nothing but X, right? So you invested X amount and this amount is becoming 650 rupees in how many years? In 3 years, right? And the same amount is becoming 750 rupees in how many years? 5 years, right? So basically if you will see in 2 years, what is the increment in the amount? So in 2 year 100 rupees is the increment in the amount, right? So in 2 year 100 rupees is the increment, right? And this increment is nothing but, increment is nothing but interest, right? See your amount is increasing, your amount was 650 and 650 became 750. So 100 rupees increment is there in 2 years. So this 100 rupees increment is what? This is nothing but the simple interest, right? So in 2 year 100 rupees interest. So in 1 year how much rupees will be the interest? So in 1 year 50 rupees will be the interest, right? Okay. So in 3 years it your uh, money is becoming 650 rupees, right? In 3 years your money is becoming 650 rupees, right? And in 1 year what is the interest? So in 1 year 50 rupees is the interest. So in 3 years what will be the total interest? So in 3 years 150 rupees will be the total interest, right? And 650 is what? 650 is nothing but amount, right? So you, you would have invested X rupees in the beginning and how much interest you got in 3 years? In 3 years you got 150 rupees and it became how much? 650. So what was your principal? So see amount is equal to principal plus simple interest, right? So amount is equal to 650 rupees principal plus simple interest is 150 rupees. So my principal will become how much? 500 rupees. So beginning I had invested 500 rupees and it became 650 in 3 years and 750 in 5 years, right? And the rate of interest was, sorry, the interest was how many rupees? The interest was 50 rupees per year, right? So we got the principal and principal is nothing but 500 rupees. Now we have to calculate the rate of interest rate of interest, right? So how will you calculate the rate of interest? So principal is equal to 500 and interest is equal to 50 rupees, simple interest and time is equal to how many years? 1 year. So simple interest is equal to P into R into T by 100, simple interest is equal to 50 rupees, principal is equal to, right? So now you see here, simple interest is equal to 50 rupees, Principal is equal to 500 rupees. Rate you have to calculate. Time is 1 year and divide by 100. So 100, 2, 0 will cancel and 5, this is 10 percent. So R will become 10 percent. So my rate of interest will become how much? 10 percent. So principal is 500 and rate is 10 percent. Question number 2. A sum of money at simple interest becomes 550 in 5 years, right? So suppose you invested X rupees and it is becoming 550 in how many years? In 5 years, right? And the same thing is becoming 600 in 6 years, right? So see in one year, in one year, what is the increment in the amount? 50 rupees is the increment in the amount. In one year, 50 rupees is the, 50 rupees is the increment or here we can say 50 rupees is the interest, right? So we got the simple interest is how much? 50 rupees, right? Now how to get the principal? See, in 5 years, in 5 years your amount is becoming how much? 550 rupees, right? And in 1 year how much is the interest? So in 1 year 50 rupees the interest. So in 5 year what will be the interest? So in 5 year 5 into 50 that is nothing but 250 rupees. 250 rupees that person would have got interest, right? So 250 rupees is a simple interest 
and amount after 5 years is how much 550 so what will be the principal so amount is equals to principal plus simple interest where principal is equals to we have to calculate simple interest is equals to 250 and amount is equals to 550 so principal will become how much 300 rupees right okay so that person would have invested 300 rupees and then in 5 years so 5 into 50 into 5 is equals to 250 and it will total become 550 right now principal is 300 simple interest is equals to 50 rupees and time is equals to one year so we'll apply the formula simple interest is equals to prt by 100 simple interest is to 50 is equals to 300 into rate we have to calculate into 1 divided by 100 20120 gone rate will become 50 by 3 percent that is nothing but 16 3 2 by 3 percent will be the rate of interest right so thanks for watching the video